The Tennessee Titans are just one day away from their fourth preseason game against the Minnesota Vikings right here at Nissan Stadium. I'm Amy Wells, joined by Mike Keith. Mike, before we talk about football, we've got to talk about this field. It looks so good just days after a massive concert here at Nissan Stadium. Uh, just hours right. after over 56,000 see Taylor Swift here, a record on Saturday night. Terry Porch is out there working on it right now, and this crew has done an amazing job be totally ready to go and playable tomorrow night for the Titans and the Vikings. There's a lot of football to watch tomorrow night in that game. This roster clearly is not set. How much of an impact is the fourth preseason game going to have on the final 53? I think it's significant. I think they know what they want to do with probably 50 of the 53 roster spots, but I think for somebody on this roster or somebody's on this roster, it's an amazing opportunity. If people fail as well, don't be surprised if the Titans go out and continue to mine free agency to grab some veterans going in. Still some things to be determined. We know who the starters are. We just don't know the full 53-man roster at this moment. What are some of the positions that you are the most interested in watching tomorrow night? On defense, it's the defensive line. I think with the trade for Kamale Correa, the Titans are more set at outside linebacker, even though there are some things that could be determined. But I think in the defensive line, you're keeping an eye on that. I mentioned that to you before the Pittsburgh game. I don't know that anybody separated themselves at Pittsburgh. It's a chance here tomorrow night against the Vikings. On offense, I'm still looking all over. Luke Falk at quarterback, he's going to get a chance to play. The tight ends, offensive linemen getting a chance to show themselves. Does this team keep a fourth running back? How deep does this team go at wide receiver? I'm not 100% sure that we know who the number five receiver is on this team. And if we do, do they keep six? Do they keep seven? I I'm not exactly sure. So I think there's still a lot to be determined on offense. Mike Keith, you have said that the fourth preseason game is the best actual football game. Tell me why. I'm a hype machine, aren't I? <laughs> you are. But my point about that is because these teams will play basically the same 40 players for the entire game. This game has flow. And it also gives these players a chance to get into a rhythm because for the most part, they know they're not coming out, which is why they understand, hey, I can play how I want to play football, give everybody the best look at me because I know they don't really have anybody to substitute for me. So the game itself feels more like an actual football game. Do we miss the stars? Yes, we do miss the stars. But the ball game is often very entertaining, and I think that's why it's so meaningful to the scouts and the GMs, because the players on the bubble get to show themselves at their very best. All right, well, lots of football to watch here at Nissan Stadium. Kickoff for that game is 7 o'clock p.m. You don't want to miss it. For TitansOnline.com, he's Mike Keith. I'm Amy Wells.